All right, I'm keeping the Mirio hype up. Let's do some hero ratings. Oops, I'll probably fast forward through a lot of these battles, so I'm not gonna talk too much, but we're just gonna run through. <laughs> we're gonna run through and see how fast we can do them, I guess. Apparently All Might can win these battles by himself, which feels, you know, accurate to canon. Okay, so he can use the uh, going underground to travel a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, never mind. It took all my two hits last time, so we're we're getting into the real stuff now. Oh, I have to turn this off. I forgot that the stages have different gimmicks. Oh, the clones. Here we go. Now it's going to get real. I'm fairly certain that the number of eyes this guy has changes based on his location. And maybe I'm wrong, and I'm just reading Thousand Eyes other places, but I'm choosing to believe that he can spawn more eyes. Great permeation. All right, I doubt we can win this one in one hit. Yeah, they're separated. Oh, and apparently All Might didn't want to fight. Oops. Oh, they're dead. All right, now we're getting into the ones that you know, are much easier, I'll say, if you have active cards. Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess they all are, right? But, um, All Might and Endeavor here, somebody to group them up, makes a huge difference. Uh, but we're gonna 
we're gonna up the challenge level. We're gonna see if, if uh, see if we can't win without that. Twenty-four seconds, not bad. Point explosion. This is the one right for Endeavor. Um, it's all about that crit rate because crit damage is already buff. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think I think we're gonna be able to do so much damage that we just overwhelm them anyway. cards I have equipped are his unique cards, so, that, yeah, that one, I mean, it, it came down closer than anything else, right, 47 seconds, let's see, Extreme Pursuit, alright, I'm actually excited for this one, I don't know how to do this without grouping them, Apparently just deal an insane amount of damage. That'll do it. That'll usually do it. Swift Interception is one of my favorites, honestly. Um, it's not the most challenging. Usually if you can do Extreme Pursuit, I think you can do this one, but I don't know. I just like the gimmick of it. The going back and forth to deactivate. I'm trying to like prioritize, you know, I, I like to use All Might or Endeavor or um, really any active card, but to try to attack them from the other side. So yeah, I just think this one's the most fun. Confident, though with no reason, that Mirio's uh, disappearing underground will not carry him through the shrubs, the planters in the middle. But I cannot confirm that. Alright, down to the last three. Iron Wall. I've honestly forgotten which one this is. Yeah, okay. Scavenger again. Right, but he just has the shields, right? Okay. Yeah, as with anything, there's a better strategy, but sheer damage will do the trick too. Lethal Shock. This is my least favorite one, um, mostly because I'm bad at uh, dodging. <laughs> did I just permeate through that attack? I think I, think I did. Huh. Power indeed, Togata. Power indeed. In the Shadows. This one is, I mean, just flailing around wildly if you don't use Jiro. But I'm sure that we can do it. AoE characters have an easier time. Um, because, you know, you can just hit the map until somebody dies. I feel like Mirio is a little more single target fa uh, focused. But, yeah. Yeah, this might be the one that stumps me, guys. I'm 
gonna try hard mode one more time and then I will put Jiro on and honestly just <laughs> negate any difficulty. That is, I, I mean, you know, this was released right around, if not the same day as, as Jiro. It was very clearly made to make that card important. Um, do with that information what you will. There we go. Alright. Good job, All Might. Alright, guys. Those are Mirio's hero ratings. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my power fantasy as much as I did. I'll see you next time.